miscellaneous cable ties, gloves and a hat, one inch ratcheting strap, ice scraper, snow brush, umbrella, black duct tape, clear duct tape, drop cloth, gas mask, another drop cloth, trucker's friend, I don't have a tarp in here. As usual, I have to include the disclaimer, I'm shooting outdoors and I'm near a highway, a railroad track, I'm in the flight path of an international airport and lots of extra traffic seems to come through our neighborhood as we are the cut through apparently. Additionally, my neighbors only like to run their power tools and lawn equipment when I'm outside filming and now there is some random dog in the neighborhood barking. So you never know what you're going to hear in the background on one of these videos. Now that the disclaimer's out of the way, I was shopping on Amazon, I needed a few things, and I decided to use a friend's affiliate link store. The channel is MK Outdoor Journals, formerly Budget Guns and Gear Reviews. Now his affiliate link store is still listed under Budget Guns and Gear Reviews. And if you go to his videos on his channel, under MK Outdoor Journal, and you go into the description section, you will find that link to his affiliate link store on Amazon. I'll also include that in the description section of this video. Now, my understanding is that if you go to anybody's affiliate link store and just browse, you don't actually have to add anything to cart or buy anything, that they will get credit for a portion of your purchase when you check out. However, when I'm using somebody's affiliate link store, if they have something on the store that I might find useful and it doesn't add to my shipping costs because I like to weasel free shipping whenever possible and I do not have Amazon Prime, I will add it to my cart. In this case, I was actually in need of a tarp. I wasn't actually shopping for a tarp, but I was in need for a tarp to keep in with all the gear that I keep in my truck. And what do you know? He actually happened to have a tarp in his store, in particular, his outdoor gear I use store. Now this is the UST Survival Blanket and Tarp 2.0. So a little bit about the tarp that I was able to find off the description on Amazon. It is 60 by 83 inches. It's 13.6 ounces and it's three ply construction. It's reflective on one side, orange on the other, and it has grommets in there. It costs $18 and I didn't have to pay for shipping. Something I noticed right off the bat when I was setting up the camera to film this is that I had to move the tarp out of the light on the tailgate because the reflectiveness of this was actually uh, kind of messing up the shot. I haven't opened it up yet, so let's just see what comes in here. Uh, before I do that, I guess a little bit more information about it. It is uh, known to cause cancer and reproductive harm, but only in the state of California. And unfortunately, it is made in China like so many things. Here on the back, you can see that they show you can use it for a shelter or as an emergency blanket. MK Outdoor Journals showed how to use one uh, to make a hammock, and I'll include a link to that video at the end of this video. I'll just go ahead and open it here. I did not open this up. This is the way it was when it got shipped in from Amazon. There was no damage to the package. None of the other contents were, were damaged or anything else like that. It's just The box was just like this. So it comes in a Ziploc bag here, a reclosable bag. And the reflective side is the side that's up. Let's go ahead and open this up. There's a border sewn around here. And there's a grommet, metal grommet, every so often. And there, it's... Uh, it's kind of a, a blaze orange color. Let me lay it out on the ground so we can see it. Unfolding it onto the grass here, I can see that it's big enough to lay a person on if you had to maybe drag somebody out of a, a spot uh, that was maybe too heavy to carry or something like that. Or it's even big enough that you could put a, a white-tailed deer on that 
if you had to drag them out of the woods. It's got a grommet in each of the four corners, and that's something that I don't like. I would like to see it have more grommets in there, so I may use this kit and add a few more grommets to it, at least uh, one on, on either side in the middle there, so that I can tie it off a little bit better. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to add some paracord to what I keep in the truck, just in case, because uh, I may actually use this for hunting or something like that. But based on uh, just the simple layout of it, it's big enough for one person to wrap themselves up in. You could use it as an emergency blanket. You could use it to cover something. I think if it had more grommets in there, it'd be easier to tie off if I had something in the bed of the truck that maybe I couldn't cover with the tonneau or something like that and I needed to, uh, to, to cover it up. I definitely want more, more grommets in it so I could tie it off better so the wind wouldn't blow it away. Other than the lack of grommets that I keep bringing up, <laughs> I'd say that this fits the bill for what I need as far as a tarp for the truck. Thanks for watching.